Hello, my name is Ryan Deleuze, and this tutorial is on how to set up the iFeel Bluetooth sensor to work with Alive. Now Alive is going to guide us through setting up this sensor, so we're going to go ahead and start by opening Alive. When using Alive with the Bluetooth sensor, you need to click Bluetooth right after you open Alive, so Alive knows to open without any USB sensors attached. If you have a different USB sensor attached, Alive will open and connect with that sensor instead of your iFeel Bluetooth sensor. When Alive opens, choose a user. And then, from the main menu, go to Graph Training. And hit Play to start training. Now Alive notices that your Bluetooth sensor isn't connected and will guide you to set it up. We're going to go ahead and follow Alive's suggestions here in order to set up the Bluetooth sensor. So the first thing to do is to connect the sensor to your finger or ear, as it says. This way the sensor will stay on and not turn off while you're trying to connect it to your computer. We're assuming this is our first time using the iFeel Bluetooth sensor with this computer, so we need to go ahead and start by following the Bluetooth pairing steps. We're using Windows 8, so we're going to click the Start menu and start typing Bluetooth settings, open Bluetooth settings, and now we see an icon here, I feel labs ready to pair. So this icon should be showing a sort of headset image, and we're going to click that and click pair. Once the iFeel Bluetooth sensor is paired, close Bluetooth settings. Next you need to follow the Finding Your Bluetooth COM port section. Next we need to open Device Manager. So click the Start menu and we'll start typing Device Manager. Find the Device Manager icon and open it. And then in Device Manager we're going to see this Ports, COM, and LPT going to open it and we see two entries, one for COM3 and one for COM6. So our iFeel Bluetooth sensor is on one of these two COM ports. We can write this down and then close Device Manager, click Manual COM port, and we can enter in COM port 3 and hit OK. It says iFeel sensor not found, so we will try COM6. and it connected the iFeel sensor on COM6. If neither of these ports work, you need to reopen Device Manager, and for each standard serial over Bluetooth link port, double-click it, and click on Port Settings, and make sure the bits per second are 9600, data bits are 8, parity none, stop bits 1, and flow control none. If you change any of these settings, you should write down what you change them from, in case this was used for a different device and you need to change it back later. Although setup was a bit complicated, from now on it's very easy to use the iFeel sensor with Alive. Just turn on your iFeel sensor, put it on your finger or ear, and then open Alive. We'll choose a user. This time, if we start a session, it just works automatically. If the iFeel sensor stops working with Alive, or you need to switch which iFeel sensor you're using with that computer, you'll need to go back to your Start menu, open Bluetooth settings, click on the sensor, and click Remove Device. You can then pair your new device or repair the same device. The iFeel sensor will work with computers that have built-in Bluetooth. If you wish to use the sensor with a computer that does not have Bluetooth, you can purchase a Bluetooth dongle, but this configuration is not supported by Somatic Vision. You'll need to follow the instructions that come with your Bluetooth dongle to pair the iFeel sensor with your computer. Thanks for watching the tutorial, and I hope this helped you get started using your iFeel sensor with your Bluetooth computer.